Yeah, what's up you guys? This is Godson. I'm back and it's time I do a new series for you. Maybe a let's play. We'll find out. But you guys, this series I have for you right now is a tier 1 series. Basically, I'm rating people at championship leagues as tier 1 team. Now, honestly, in championship leagues, there are very few people that use this type of strategy, this type of team because of the difficulty that it takes to win with them. And usually you won't get a two star victory unless you're fighting down there in gold or crystal uh, against the easier bases. So I thought maybe, you know what, I could have done a series where I worked my way back up to championship leagues using tier one. But I thought, you know what, that that wouldn't be that difficult. Why not just fight champion champion people? with tier one right now so I, this was my series i came up with and uh, i do feel again these are the hardest troops to use in championship leagues some people could say no you know you can actually use golems those are harder but come on you're not gonna really you're not gonna win with golems a full team of golems is not gonna happen so this is the team i felt that you know actually requires some skill to use hence the name tier one champion so you guys, this is just the introduction into the series. I will be editing the series, of course, adding more animations and effects, just because I, those are just some of the stuff I wanted to do, and I haven't been able to do that just because I've been up in championship leagues, and you know, usually when you're up here, you have to use wizards, witches, golems, stuff like that, and you can't really use the tier one uh, troops. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try this out and see if I can get back to my old style of uh, editing and maybe use these types of troops. Now, this might be a 5 or 10 series, 5 or 10 episode series, and uh, I would like to get your feedback. You know, I could do a face cam with this, or I could just, you know, edit, and maybe this could be a let's play. I'm not sure exactly what a let's play is. Is it like just starting from scratch and working your way up or going where you're at? Uh, maybe you guys could help me out with that. But if I do a let's play series, I would like to do something where I start and work my way through campaign beating all the campaigns just because I haven't really posted that any videos for that uh, well let me know if you guys are interested in that if you think that's a good idea uh, but I'm really liking this this tier 1 series just because of the difficulty as you can see I'm trying to take out the heroes right now with just tier 1 troops and you have to you have to back up your archers with barbarians and make sure you do it right because you'll lose a lot of troops if you don't and uh, of course, I'm going to be posting another video soon, uh, probably this week, about how to take out heroes really easily with just two to three witches and maybe two wizards. And that actually includes the clan castle, too. You could take out clan castles and heroes with just that combination. But as you can see, it would be a lot harder to do that with just tier one troops uh, because you have to coordinate your troops right and it might be a little bit risky if you're going for that uh, just wasting time taking out heroes usually people go and just go for the building structures instead because they don't have the manpower to take out all the heroes so those are things you got to watch out for now it is debatable what exactly is a tier one troop uh, because you know I believe giants are in that range for it listing as a tier one some people might not consider that. They may say, oh, that's probably a tier two. But uh, I do use giants in my clan castle. I could probably change that if you guys want to be, you know, more restricting on what is a tier one troop. But I would like to keep it goblins, barbs, and archers. As for spells, you have to use, I feel, you have to use lightning. Lightning spells, at least five of those so that you can take out the splash damage weapons, the motars. And I feel, you know, you can use... Uh, rage spells, but you, you're at a higher risk of losing all your troops because of splash damage So it's always better to use that and I feel By doing this combination of using just tier 1 and lightning that has to be the cheapest team in the game So that you could actually farm this way and people have been known to farm using tier 1 in champion leagues And of course this stuff might open up more uh, To the series I've done earlier about how to become a champion uh, some of you guys have asked, could I go in more detail about how you how you attack and how you defend? Well, using these types of troops, I'm sure you can see now that it is actually kind of easy to get the champion leagues if you're just following these steps of going for 50% victories and you're consistent with it because you actually get to save and you get to uh, upgrade your town while you're going up the ranks. Now, this type of strategy actually is 
uh, base specific. What do I mean by that? I mean like it's only it only works on certain bases. So you can't just use this strategy on any base you come across because it won't work. You have to find bases that are specific to this team and usually that involves bases that have 50% of their buildings outside. And by going for these little victories, I believe you get five or six trophies. Uh, it takes very short for your troops to be cooked up again, to train them again. Uh, I believe it would take about an hour and 45 minutes for you get, to get back in there and to fight again. Now, that is actually pretty good because if you're doing an all-out team, it may take you two to four hours to get your team ready again. So I feel this is a good way to get trophies really quick. And even if most of the bases don't have all the money you need, you still get that uh, league bonus for a team that doesn't really cost that much to make anyway. So again, you guys, this is just the introduction into the series. Let me know what you think. If you think this is the hardest team to use in champion leagues or in any type of league, or if you have another that is actually more difficult, let me know. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out this new series coming out, and I will see you guys next time. Godson out.